Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video. So today we're going to be talking about how to become a true power user in Linux by using different customized shortcuts. And you're going to be able to fine tune this to your liking from where, if you're coming from Mac OS, if you're coming from Windows, or if you're a veteran Linux user who somehow doesn't use keyboard shortcuts, I think you're going to like this video. For example, by default, Super Plus D opens up workspaces in Pop OS but I have customized it to my liking and I did super plus tab. So this opens workspaces because I'm more familiar to this sort of thing because I come from Windows. Now, keep in mind this tutorial is, although specifically tailored for Pop OS, you could also do it in Ubuntu or you could do it basically in any distribution which ships with GNOME or if you have installed GNOME and you've logged in, a, logged in through a GNOME session on any Linux distribution of your choice. Okay, so let's dive right in. Press the super key and type keyboard. Now, if you're not on Pop! OS, what you could do is you could click on your applications button or the equivalent in your distribution. You could go down to settings and you would have the exact same thing. And you click on keyboard and there you are. So now you're gonna click on customize shortcuts. Once you click this, you'll see a window pop up with different short, different lists of shortcuts. Now, most of these are default shortcuts. You could add to some of these. You could modify some of these. For example, under accessibility, you have decreased text size. Most of these are disabled by default, but something like turn zoom on or off, alt super plus eight, those are super handy. Okay, now what we want to do, first of all, is we could modify one of our existing shortcuts. So let's say we're going to want to modify how to open workspaces or applications. As you can see, I have already modified one, so let's, let's actually search for it. So workspaces, and yeah, so as you can see, I have made a super plus tab. What I'm going to do is go ahead and remove the shortcut or I could set it to default. Yeah, so as you can see, super plus D opens up workspaces. Now, I'm not really sure why D would be with workspaces, but well, it is what it is. Coming from Windows, I would love to change it to super plus tab. Let's click on the three buttons and we're gonna click on add another shortcut. So now we're gonna press the combination that we actually want to use. So we're gonna press super plus tab. As you can see, it has registered. We're gonna click on set. And now what I like to do is I like to go ahead and remove the original Super Plus D. Don't worry because every time you click on reset to default, you're going to be able to get it back. So now that I've removed it, let's go test Super Plus tab. Okay, it works perfectly. All right, now for the second part of this video, you can also have custom shortcuts. So let's say you want to open the system monitor. Now, if you go into terminal and type GNOME, system monitor and press enter you're going to have the gnome system monitor pop up what if you want to do it with a custom shortcut for example on windows we used to have control shift plus escape if i do control shift plus escape now it's going to open the gnome system monitor so let's see how we do it so we're going to click on add shortcut we're going to put a name in the command section we're going to put gnome system monitor and then we're going to click on set shortcut and enter our desired combination. So as you can see, if I click on modify shortcut, this is the one that I created. I have put a name system monitor. I gave the command and the shortcut is shift plus control plus escape. So this is similar to windows. If I press it once again, you're going to be able to see that this will open the system monitor. Okay. So with that, we come to the end of this tiny tutorial. I hope this really helps. And I hope this improves your productivity when using Linux as your main operating system. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.